Hi, everybody. I love that film that we've just watched. And it ended by saying hope has a place in everyone. And I think that is so true. When all those young people were being interviewed, they were talking about their worries, the things they're worrying about. And I know that young people worry about stuff. I know that there'll be you young people that worry about stuff. And most of it, we shouldn't even go there. We are bombarded by information. Um, and there are lots of things that we're going to be able to act upon and um, help with. We think of green issues. Um, there was uh, one of the girls there really worried about global warming. Do you know what? Uh, if we worry, it does not add a single hour to our lives. You can either worry about something or not worry about something, but the situation is still the same. Easy words, and I think it's something we have to kind of practice and get into the habit of doing, and that is not worrying about situations. We need courage and tenacity. This is why we say this. This is the beginning and the end of our Be Christ. Courage and tenacity. Life is tough. We don't worry about it. We use courage to get through and we don't give up. We do not give up. And that is the way of it. I've got this little bit of scripture here that the Apostle Paul wrote. And he, he was writing this to a church that was in a time of a lot of persecution, a lot of hardship in the first century in Rome. And he says this, and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. So there's faith involved with that. And then he goes on to say, not only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope, and hope does not disappoint us. Now, suffering is hardship in all sorts of different uh, ways. It can come in all sorts of different guises. But basically, there is hardship in life. And that's, you know, that, that's just a reality. Now, you can either worry about it or you can win life. And you can you can be the sort of person who takes hold of courage and really goes for it and wins life and makes a difference. And yeah, if we've got global warming, then we need to get involved with green issues. You are not going to save the planet on your own and it's not going to happen overnight. So what we do is whatever we can do in the next day and keep living one day at a time. So we have those principles. Hardship actually produces character. What I have noticed over many years of working with many, many people is those who get on the best get on because of good character. Not whether they're suffering or not, but actually how they handle it, how they handle themselves, their determination. Do they give up? Do they quit? Um, because we know that quitters are never winners and winners are never quitters. That's the reality. So we can have hope. And yes, yeah, this uh, pandemic has been really scary. It's been a real scary thing and a very real thing. And it's changed our lives. And um, we've been uh, stopped from doing an awful, awful lot of things. And it's forced us to do other things that maybe we didn't want to do. But hey, what we do is we are in this situation. So we're going to make the very best of it. And we're going to come out the other side of it and we're going to grab life and win life and be successful. Be determined to be successful. And in that, you can have hope and hope does not disappoint us. Have an amazing week. Let us pray. Dear Lord, help us to be courageous in all that we're doing. Help us to be single-minded that we're not going to give up. Give us that tenacity. Help us, we pray. Strengthen us. Be with us this week. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.